Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam gets ready to prepare us for dual booting. Are you ready to take the real plunge into Linux? If so, these next few episodes will be for you. Adam will even quickly show off his system and give you an idea of what Linux can do. This is going to be epic. Well, I've got a pretty big show lined up, so let's dive right into this. The next few videos, I will admit, will be pretty boring, but I think that they're really, really needed. So what we're going to do is I'm going to outlay how to set up a dual boot system. And in order to set that process in motion, we're going to first start with what a master boot record file is, uh, what file systems are, partitioning, and all this other crazy complex stuff. And the reason I want to go over this is because once you understand the knowledge behind this, then you'll be able to set up a system that really meets your needs. Uh, you can always watch a eight minute or less YouTube video on how to install an operating system, but very rarely do I see anyone go into great detail of what settings you should choose and why and the pros and cons to all of these approaches. So uh, it's my goal to bridge that gap. Before doing any kind of installation, such as this magnitude, it is always a good idea to back up your data beforehand. In fact, during this mini-series, you will hear me repeat that quite often. Now, doing a full-blown installation is a pretty big commitment. And I will admit, I haven't done a fantastic job explaining what to look for in a distribution. So here are some things to think about for your distribution. Uh, one is stability. Uh, is it using bleeding edge technology, which is fantastic as far as having the latest and greatest, but it, things may break in your system, or would you rather go a little bit more older and more stable, uh, thus uh, things won't break as much, but you won't be on the latest and greatest. Another thing to obviously look for is system requirements. Uh, does your system meet the system requirements for that particular Linux distribution. Another huge one is support. Uh, where can you get help if things go wrong? And how long is the distribution going to be supported for? Uh, is it just going to be a couple of months or is it going to be maybe five years? And finally, make sure that you're comfortable with the look and feel of the actual Linux distribution's operating system. I've already mentioned this in previous videos, but it bears mentioning again. Make sure before you actually do a full-blown installation that you run either a live CD or better yet a USB stick that has your distribution on it. That way you can test out all your hardware, make sure everything is supported, and make sure everything is kind of working the way you expect it before you actually do the full-blown installation. This will save lots of time and it'll save uh, you from acquiring a lot of headaches. So if I had to endorse one Linux distribution, what would it be? Well. I would go with Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. Um, I'll get more into why I chose this later, and actually I'm using it with my system currently, but I'll explain that later in the video. But uh, basically if you can run Windows 7, you should have no problem running um, uh, Ubuntu 12.04. The only exception would be uh, like a netbook, and honestly for a netbook I would strongly encourage Lubuntu 12.04. Uh, uh, the only disadvantage to Lubuntu is that I think it's only going to be supported for 18 months. So after 18 months, if you still wanted support, you would have to upgrade to the latest Ubuntu, uh, Lubuntu at that particular time. So this brings me to my current system, and I do have some pretty big news uh, in this department. Last weekend, I spent the entire weekend configuring to 12.04. Uh, in the past, I was using Zubuntu 11.10. Absolutely loved it with the awesome Windows Manager. But I really wanted uh, the long-term support. So I was planning on upgrading to Zubuntu 12.04, and I was unhappy with it. Um, it worked okay. Uh, I didn't feel like it was as polished. I ran into some bugs at login that just... I didn't like that. So I said, you know what, let me give Ubuntu 12.04 a spin. And after that, I fell in love with it, and it is now my main system. So you're probably wondering why did I choose Ubuntu 12.04. Well, it's basically for the long-term support. Um, I do not want to keep reinstalling my Linux operating system every year. Uh, my goal, fingers crossed, is that I can get uh, five years out of this without ever having to reinstall it. Ubuntu 12.04 is also fantastic because it seems to do a great job of blending uh, power, uh, uh, friendliness for new users, um, and also uh, bleeding edge technology with stability. So far, out of all the Linux distributions that I've tried, Ubuntu 12.04 just seems the most polished. 
Now, I am by no means an expert in Linux. Um, I have tried lots of different distributions. I've tried OpenSUSE. I have tried uh, Lubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu. Uh, I've tried a fair amount of them. And to be honest with you, Ubuntu 12.04, although Unity isn't for everyone, seems to be the best uh, all-around well-polished distribution. The other nice thing is that uh, Canonical basically backs Ubuntu and they have a good bit of resources uh, to make this a very well-developed Linux operating system. All right, and as promised of showing off my system, this is Ubuntu 12.04. Now, I have configured this uh, a little bit, pretty heavily actually, but uh, you can see up here I added this nice little system monitor that tells me um, uh, how much uh, CPU, memory, and all this other stuff that I'm using. Uh, I also have my uh, temperature uh, for uh, my CPUs, my GPUs, stuff like that. Um, over here, uh, you can launch stuff. Um, this is the uh, so it, Unity takes a, a little bit getting used to, but um, it's definitely keyboard shortcut driven, which is actually nice once you take the time to learn them. But um, I don't think it's quite as fast as my awesome Windows Manager, which you'll see next. But um, uh, you can see, like, so for example, if I want a quick launch, I just hit the Windows key, and then I can type in Nautilus, and then boom, that's launched. Um, if you you don't have, like in Windows, you know how you have a whole, all of your tasks that show you exactly which windows are open? You don't really have that in this. You also have the HUD, which is, um, like, for example, like if I'm on here, I have to go all the way up here to get to my... Uh, to my menu for like a new tab or a new window. Uh, it's nice now, you can hit Alt and then you can just type in what you're thinking. So I want a new window, boom, I hit Enter and then the new window pops up. Um, it's kind of nice if you hit Windows key plus the W, um, you'll go into this expose mode, which is really, really handy for picking out uh, whatever application uh, that you have open. So it's kind of not necessary that you don't see all of your applications open. And uh, again, I, in the future, I will do a much, much better review. This is just a very, very brief uh, introduction to, to Unity and Ubuntu. Um, but the biggest feature is if you hold down the Windows key, um, the keyboard shortcuts will come up. So you can read through these uh, and then you can learn to, to use them. Um, it'll probably take a day or two for you to feel comfortable. Uh, don't give up. Uh, try it out on a live CD or whatever uh, to see if eventually it'll work for you. But once you start getting used to the keyboard shortcuts, um, uh, my honest opinion is I think I can do things a lot faster in Ubuntu compared to Windows 7. Um, but uh, uh, as you'll see, uh, I can do things much, much faster with the awesome Windows Manager. But uh, again, even the awesome Windows Manager, I mean, it took a couple days before I felt comfortable with it. So uh, give it a shot uh, and see if this is for you. So here's a picture of the login screen. And this is, uh, I just wanted to show you this real quick. So at the login screen here, at this screenshot, uh, you can see that um, if I select here, I can now choose what window manager I want to boot into. You see I've got Ubuntu, I've got uh, Unity or Ubuntu 2D, and then here, after I install the Awesome Windows Manager, I can click this to uh, boot into the Awesome Windows Manager. So uh, let me boot into that right now, and let's take a look at the Awesome Windows Manager. Okay, and this is the awesome Windows Manager. So I've been raving about this, so I might as well show you quickly how I've got this set up. Now, I do have this configured pretty heavily. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to, to do that. Uh, it's definitely a steeper learning curve, and it probably took me a good couple of days before I felt comfortable in it. But once you start feeling comfortable in it, it is a fantastic Windows Manager. Now, um, for example, uh, this is just all through keyboard shortcuts where I'm just hitting um, different um, uh, key commands. Um, I'll go over those in the future. Um, but uh, for example, uh, you can, and then I'm just hitting Windows J to, to move over to, um, to, to my other terminals. And uh, you can see uh, I'm not even using the mouse. It's all keyboard shortcut driven. Uh, if you want, you can use the mouse, um, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, and then uh, you can also um, switch thing into floating mode you can also change uh, the layout so now I've got like the four system um, now if I just highlight my mouse it automatically uh, puts focus onto that uh, uh, to that window um, let me open up my text editor here if you hit uh, control R you can quickly just type in the command to launch like for example text editor uh, and then uh, I'm just typing in 
and then uh, for example I go over here I hit something and then uh, if I want I can just hit J uh, and eventually cycle back and then I can click right exactly where I left off so and then boom very very quick once you start getting the hang of things so uh, up here you have your different uh, virtual desktops uh, in fact let me uh, you see this up here in the right hand corner this is the different layout so I'm gonna put this mode is floating uh, floating window mode, which is what everyone's probably used to. Uh, I've configured this so uh, the Windows key plus I launches internet. Uh, and you can see I can resize. Uh, this is all through the mouse. Um, if I go back over here, I can also use the mouse to drag and drop to different parts of the grid. So this is fantastic because it mixes keyboard shortcuts, which are super, super fast. And if you don't feel comfortable with that, uh, you can also use the mouse. So it's not one or the other. A lot of these uh, tile grid layout Windows programs, um, it's usually uh, either keyboards or mouse and this does a fantastic job blending both of them so huge fan of it and again uh, way down the line I will do a much much better review uh, mini series on this Windows Manager well this is probably more than enough information for now in the future I will be taking a lot more time and doing some mini series on unity and also the awesome Windows Manager uh, this was just a very, very quick introduction to that, just to show you what I use Linux for, uh, why I really, really like Linux, some of the, the powerful features of Linux, and also to maybe persuade you to dual boot. You know, maybe this was just enough information to push you over the edge, or perhaps this just scared you completely. I don't know. Uh, in any event, um, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to check out my website, greenhornlinux.com. Thanks for watching.